Hey Virgo, so this is for Virgos who are dealing with a Capricorn for the month of August 2022. If you'd like to make a purchase, you can go ahead and do so at tarotbarbie.com. I got crystal sage incense, personal readings, and much more. Let's get it, Virgos coming with the Magician, the Nine of Wands, and the Hierophant. Ooh, Virgos, they really thought that they would be able to get one on you, but they don't realize your power. They don't realize who you are. They don't realize that you are, in fact, connected to divination. They don't understand that you are the divine feminine or the divine masculine, but you're definitely in your power, and nothing and nobody's ever going to be able to take that away from you, especially knowing that you stand very, very close to divination, that you're very, very close on being able to access the higher realms, and a lot of you guys might be earth angels, light workers, and this person really... This person really was fucked up, Virgos, on a whole other level. When I say on a whole other level, they really fucked up. This person really thought, Virgos, that they were going to be able to fucking do magic on you with the Magician card, Seven of Swords, Six of Pentacles, Queen of Swords, Queen of Wands, and the Justice card. I want you guys to know that this per these people who were the accomplice of your Capricorn. So if your Capricorn, your Capricorn was doing magic on you guys, Virgos, with the Seven of Swords to the Magician card, and when you guys found that shit out, or when you guys realized what the fuck's going on, this Capricorn was paying two witches, a Queen of Swords and the Queen of Wands, to do magic on you. However, though, it all ended up backfiring. Justice's card right there. They're all receiving their karma for what they've done by trying to go against you guys, specifically because you guys are divination, you guys are earth angels, you guys are light workers, you guys are connected to the spiritual realm. And people really look up to you and really respect you on a whole other level. People love your energy. People love to be around you. People love the work that you do. You're very well respected when it comes to your spiritual community. You very much so are. And for the fact that this person had the audacity to go out of their way to pay to pay two witches, Queen of Swords and the Queen of Wands, to do magic on you because these people needed to get money. They needed their fucking money, so they needed it. These people were not doing well. They needed the money. This Capricorn was paying them, and... <laughs> these witches too Virgos they honestly fucked up the Capricorn <laughs> listen Capricorn <laughs> and just because you pay people to do magic for you it doesn't mean that they're not gonna fuck you up along the way alright cause from what I'm seeing here is that this Queen of Swords and the high and the Queen of Wands did end up also fucking the Capricorn up for whatever else was. So maybe they found out that the Capricorn was using them and whatever. Yeah, they needed the money. Yeah, they got paid. But they, I, be, I believe that they also fucked the Capricorn up for trying to do magic. Uh, for They were doing... They did magic on the Capricorn too because they saw the Capricorn was very fucking... They, the Capricorn thought that they was so big fucking headed with the seven so they really thought that they was going to be able to get away with the shit that they was doing so you're sitting there paying two people to do magic for you meanwhile you're also ego based you're thinking with your ego like so maybe these two people here <sighs> how do i explain this one so yes your capricorn was dealing with you but maybe these two people like the Capricorn, so they were using them also to have them help have them help him or her with magic. At the end of the day, they're getting their karma, justice card, Virgos. They're not it's like they don't realize what's happening right now. If this person realizes that they really did fuck up with the nine of wand energy and they're having to defend themselves now because the energy is going back towards them, you're always gonna be blessed and happy at the end of the day with the with the sun card. Like your Capricorn really fucked up on this connection on a whole other level. You guys would have had a great connection with each other, everything was fine, everything was good. Maybe this person couldn't handle the fact that you were in a spiritual community. Maybe they can't handle the fact that you have a very high rank rank in the spiritual realm that you're very well respected that even the spirits respect you and they love you very much too because of the fact that you guys put out unconditional love great work into the into the universe by helping other people the whole point of us all uniting is that we are one we are all a ball of energy we're all one we're all connected in some sort of way and you guys are very well aware of that hi uh i keep saying high priestess hi i don't think this person fucking realized that you guys were a high priestess virgos yeah, they probably knew that you work with the spirituality, whatever the fuck what, but I don't think they actually realize that you are, in fact, a high priestess. You don't carry yourself as a high priestess. You carry yourselves as a queen, as, a, as an empress, but you don't 
go over the limit and and you know you, you know what I mean that means that some of you guys you that means you guys are in fact high priestesses but you don't show the world that you're a high priestess because it's very sacred to you and very special for something it's very special to you you don't go around being like oh I'm a high priestess I'm a high priestess no when you know that you, when you know who you really are you don't go running around and, and yelling to the world what it is that you are that's very special you know and not people don't deserve to know who the hell it is that you are at the end of the day especially when you guys are very important and you guys are are highly gifted and and when you especially when you guys know how people can be when you're a very gifted person like that you're not going to go around and just flaunt it and tell everybody what it is that you are no, you're going to humbly be like, no, I'm a queen, I'm an empress, I'm an emperor. <laughs> At the end of the day, Virgos, everything that this person did to you, that's going honestly back onto them. Uh, you guys want nothing to do with this person. Because you guys are the high priestess and you guys did not tell this person you're... So intuitively, you know exactly what it was that they was doing. Virgos, y'all be doing tarot, y'all be doing your fucking thing, y'all be knowing everything, all right? You always be knowing everything. So a lot of you guys may have cut this person off. All right, so they're going to try and come back and find a way to heal the relationship and tell you like, hey, I want to make the relationship work. I want our friendship to work. Page of Cups in reverse. But you guys are defensive at this point. Page of Swords. This person thinks that they're going to be able to get back into your good grace with the Ten of Cups, but they really, but they, they don't realize that it's done and over with. Somebody here goes by the saying is, uh, if you do magic on me once, don't ever come back again. No one has to go and do magic on anybody. There's no reason for that. So since they did that, you're long gone, Virgos. You're definitely out of this situation with the Eight of Cups. Uh, this person's thinking about you a lot, nostalgic on you, maybe even dreaming about you with the Seven of Cups or the Six of Cups, mostly because of the fact that if this person did actually do some sort of love spell on you, um, I want you to know all those love spells <laughs> are hitting them right back. And it's affecting them. They probably don't even realize what's going on because they're not into that. They just pay people to do magic for them, but they don't, I don't think this person really understands how, how, uh, I don't think they really understand how magic works. Seven of Cups. So they're fantasizing about you. They're thinking about you. They're dreaming about you as well. They cannot forget you, Virgos. They're really sad and regretful for what it is that they did because they know that they lost you with the Nine of Pentacles. You were the best that they ever had. And for them to bring drama like this into your life, you have no tolerance for it. Eight of Cups. You move on with your life. That's it. And ever since you moved on with your life, you've been feeling so much more better without them. Now this person is left out in the cold, five of pentacles, and they're trying to figure out how in the world they're going to be able to get you back. But the real of the matter is they're not going to be able to. They've done a lot of spells on you, especially when it comes to love spells, which hurt you really badly because you don't have time for to allow anybody the fuck. I fucking, I swear, Virgos, I fucking hate it when it goes blurry like that. I can't explain to you how much it pisses me off. <laughs> it fucking pisses. Like, why is it blurry? What happened for it to go blurry? Did something happen? Did I move my hand? And even if I did move my hand, why the fuck is it blurry for? The fuck? The fuck? <laughs> that is sorts. <laughs> Ah, uh, yeah, Virgos, this person definitely did a lot of magic uh, to do spells on you guys. <sighs> but in return, because they ended up doing that to you, now they are in the Ten of Swords. Like, how are you going to go after a high priestess? Just because you don't know that they're a high priestess doesn't give you the right to do any type of magic on anybody. But because just because they're in the spiritual community and you couldn't handle the fact that they were so respected and whatever the fuck what, you want to go and do this and you pay two other fucking people to do this shit to this high priestess, not realizing that you're messing with somebody that should not have been, you should not have done this. You should, when I say you should not have done the magic on the, the Virgos or the Capricorn who is a high priestess, you should never have done that. You did it for no reason. The relationship was fine. It was everything was everything was a-okay. Really though, everything was a-okay. Nothing would have been wrong. But this person literally went out of their way to fucking pay a queen of swords and the queen of wands to do magic on you. And in return, those two people still ended up fucking up the Capricorn for whatever the fuck what. Not only are they fucking up the Capricorn because that's that's how shit happens out here sometimes, but they're also receiving their karma for taking money from the Capricorn and doing magic on you 
when they should never have done the magic on you and they should have figured it out first on whether or not they should do magic on you and because they didn't listen, they ignored it because they needed the money, six of pentacles, they still did it anyway. They're receiving their karma for what they've done. They should have been like, no, I'm sorry, I cannot do this for to this person. This person spiritually is very important to this, you know, we cannot. But instead they did, they needed the money. Uh, <laughs> all right then, I guess people will be doing anything for money out here. Fucking picking up clout energy. Uh, Ace of Cups, Ten of Swords, and the Temperance card. So the angels are going to fix this situation, Virgos, for you specifically. And what they're going to end up doing to this Capricorn, they're going to put them in the Ten of Swords for everything that they've done onto you. This would never have ended this relationship if they didn't do. If they did, if they did not do magic on you, it would. They would not be suffering in the Ten of Swords. But you guys are going to continue to heal. This person is absolutely stuck on you, obsessive over you. Two of Cups, Four of Pentacles. They are not allowed to come back towards you again. You guys are fully protecting yourselves with the Four of Pentacles. And the further you stay away from them, the further their magic will never be able to reach you. Nine of Cups. And since then, Virgos, you guys have been fine and okay. You literally defeated this person. This person has no choice now but to walk away from you. You're too much in the high power with the Five of Swords. You're being recognized, you're respected, you're getting your wishes fulfilled. If this person tried to block your energy in any type of way, shape, or form, like literally, literally they don't, I don't think this person understands how fucking protected you genuinely are. Not only that, like I don't think they realize how powerful you are to take on the magical side of things, you know what I mean? Maybe they thought that you don't know how to handle magic. Maybe they thought that you don't know how to defend yourself. Maybe they don't know how. Maybe they don't understand magic. But they don't understand how you're still continuously still winning at life. They don't understand how you were able to defeat them. <laughs> Yo, when you're not a part, if you're not a part of the spiritual community and if you just want to do something just to do something because you found out that you have two brethren who can do it, that doesn't give you the fucking right to be doing anything on anybody. You don't understand. Like, you you got somebody here who's working with a spiritual community who helps people. Not just helps, helps a lot of fucking people. And then you want to come in and then you want to try and take away something from this beautiful, connected person who's connected to divination? It's not going to happen. When you're a piece of shit and you want to simply do magic on somebody who's literally changing the world and helping the world to be a better place... You don't, that person is doing something good. They're, they're creating good deeds for everybody and for themselves. And then you want to hurt somebody who's, who's giving out good deeds and doing a good deed to everybody to help them out so that way they're okay. And you want to come and hurt them with magic. You're going to feel it. You're going to feel it. And then you're going to realize that you ain't shit at the end of the day. <laughs> and it's going to really affect you because <laughs> you're going to realize like shit. And then when the angels start to put you in the ten of swords, you're going to be like, damn, like, <laughs> this person will realize how irrelevant they are when you continue to blossom and glow. You guys are reaching your ten of pentacles, Virgos. Your success is here. That wheel is coming in for you guys, all right? This person is going to be blocked from even being able to contact your reach. You guys are going to have so much happiness. You are defeating whatever the fuck this person tried to send your way. You guys got your money in. Your success is coming in. Your prosperity is coming in. Ten of Pentacles, your stability is coming in. That will is going to be turning in your favor. This person is going to be receiving their karma for what they tried to do. They tried to block you, Virgos, and for you not to be able to see the truth for what it is, but because you guys do see the truth, you guys have celebrations and success coming towards you guys. Uh, you guys are defeating defending yourselves and absolutely protecting yourself so for that even if this person was going to try and come back towards you guys to communicate with you and even act like they did not do magic on you when they fucking did you guys are simply going to let this bitch know <laughs> block fucking the fuck block get the fuck out go on with your life there may be a capricorn who's not here anymore as well maybe because of all the magic that they've done anyways Oh, I don't know what's going on there, but I'm going to hear it, I'm going to see it, I'm going to say it. Uh, yes, so they're going to try and come back, Virgos, but they don't realize that you guys want nothing to do with them. They're going to try and come back and see if they can, like, fight for the connection, but you're so fucking defensive and protected, like, that you're not letting this person to come back and fuck with your energy anymore. Now, not, now knowing what you know now, it's not going to happen. Uh, they're going to have no choice. 
but to move on with their life knowing that they fucking lost a very loving and very fair person they're gonna always be stressed out about you now virgos all right this person thinks that <sighs> this person is definitely stressing about you now. So maybe this person is, can't, is stressing out at nighttime. Maybe they have insomnia because they can't stop feeling feeling you. Like King of Cups, they can't stop feeling you. So maybe some of you guys are able to f pick up or feel this person's energy at certain times. But you guys are too busy, Virgos. All right, like you're healing yourself. You're doing your thing. Like this King of Cups is very much so stressed out with the Eight of Swords, like stress, anxiety, PTSD. You guys are going to be listening to your intuition and staying away from this person as well, especially if this person tries to come back again. I do believe that they are going to try and do some sort of spell card again, Virgos, with the Star card to the High Priestess to the Eight of Swords. I want you guys to know that if you guys do feel the Eight of Swords, you guys are going to have to do a cleansing immediately. Like when I say the moment you feel the energy fucking come towards you, you have to do the cleansing right away. There is no sitting down waiting and oh, I'm going to wait a little bit and see what the fuck this energy is. No, fucking clean it up. The fuck? All right. Yeah, you're going to be good. Like, look how quick that energy shifts. Like, I don't think anybody really understands how quickly you can uh, take care of yourselves, Virgos, especially this motherfucking Capricorn. That's for sure. It's gonna, everything that this person brings onto you, it f always goes back onto them. There's no, there, there's nothing this person can do. You are the fucking high priestess. And they tried the right one when they came to try and fuck you up. Now they're stressed out. They're burdened. They're like, you're so powerful. You know, you can overcome anything that anyone tries to bring your way. You have so many blessings and opportunities coming towards you. Anything that this person tries to do with you on when it comes to magic, it goes back onto them right away. Like, I don't understand how the fuck it happens, but you guys are fucking doing it. It is what it is. Or you're just very much so spiritually protected that your ancestors are genuinely not going to allow anyone to fucking hurt you in that type of way, especially not this little bitch over here. Ten of Wands, Tower Card, Virgos. Uh, this person's stressed and burdened, and they got a lot of calamity, and everything that they everything that they try to uh, create for themselves, <laughs> it's turning into, like, nothing now. Like, it's, it's, it's being reversed onto them. Like, everything is being literally reversed. Like, what the fuck? Everything is being reversed. Like they're not able to get out of this with the tower card. Like everything is being doomed from them. Like they're ending now in heartache. They're ending up in a lot of breakups, problems, you know? Shit really not be working out. You guys are investing. Seven of Pentacles, you guys have worked so fucking hard. This situation really did break your heart, especially when they got the witches after you to do magic on you. It hurt you. Absolutely. And you had no choice but to bring in that tower at the same time as well. I don't believe, Virgos, that you had any intentions on hurting this person in any way, shape, and form. I think the fact that you had to just no choice, no, you had no choice but to simply choose yourself <clears throat> is what absolutely hurts you and deceive you with magic, especially when you're nothing, you were, you were nothing but good to this person with the Queen of Cups to the Empress card. Like, you guys are not even talking to this person anymore. <clears throat> oh my God. Uh, Lover's card, Chariot. So this person does find you beautiful. They've always found you beautiful anyway, Virgos. They're going to try and come in and communicate with you because they're absolutely heartbroken. Yeah, you guys might talk to them at the end of the day, but I don't believe that you guys are going to want to move forward any further than them coming in. So some of you guys might meet, meet up with them in a the parking lot, talk to them. You guys will be in your whip, whatever. But that's as far as it's going to go. And once that hangman comes in, you're never, you're most likely never going to talk to them ever again, Virgos. You made the decision. You're very smart. You have speedy intelligence and your intelligence and you being still and listening to your intuition and going to hermit tells you like, hey, you know what? You're good. Like you're, you're okay. Like you have very fast and you're very witty. You're very fast. You're very quick up here. You know, like mentally you're, you're very quick. You're very witty. <clears throat> oh, my God. I don't know what's happening all of a sudden, Virgos. This person probably has problems. They want to talk to you, but they're not fucking talking to you, right? So you got this person's going to contact you. They're going to reach out to you, hoping that you guys are going to take that leap of faith and communicate with them again. But there's still some shit that's hitting here, hidden here that will end up becoming exposed with the Ace of Swords to the World card. They're going to still try and hold on to you, Virgos, but because you guys are still step stepping into your power and sitting in your power, nothing this person can do and say to you is going to affect you in any way, shape, or form. I do believe that this person might try again to do magic on you guys later on, Virgos, but because you guys are already aware of the energy, you're not going to let this person back into your life. 
Um, I do believe as well that this Capricorn is going to have to link up with a couple people to see what type of magic they're going to try and do. Uh, they may end up going to an emperor who does do magic, who might be very powerful, so that way they can attack you, because I'm seeing that this is the type of person that will do love spell over love spell over love spell, but when they can't have you, they get angry, so they pay someone to attack you as well, which might be a man. So at first, they were having a woman doing their spells, but in the end, they're going to go to a man to have them do their spells for you. Um... I do believe that this person is going to be very cautious if they're going to try and do magic, but I don't believe that they're going to jump on it right away and do the magic on you. I think they're going to like go within and try and figure it out with the hermit card and see what they're getting themselves into, but I do believe that they're going to realize that you are very highly protected and it would be a pretty bad decision for them to do that on to you. Um, regardless though, Knight of Pentacles... <laughs> They're not simply, they're just, they just know deep down, Virgos, that they're never going to be able to get you guys back again. It is what it is. And no matter how much magic they fucking do onto you, they're never good. That magic is never going to prosper. It's never going to work. And this person's literally going to hermit trying to figure out, like, yo, does it, does anyone's magic fucking work? Is magic even real out here? Does magic work? <laughs> <laughs> To this Capricorn here, no, your magic does not work because whatever the fuck it is that you're doing, it's not working on this specific person. This person is incredibly, incredibly aware of their surroundings and what's going on. So for that, it does not work. Even if you go to a clique, even if you go to a company, even if you pay someone to do the magic for you, that magic is still not going to work at the end of the day. Why? Because this person is an old soul you guys are trying to do magic on someone who's an old soul somebody who's been here so many fucking times before and who's very well aware of magic and everything yeah you might be very powerful but at the end of the day it's just simply not going to fucking work and even if it is even if it does work you're it's even if you do feel the energy of the magic that's not the fucking point the whole point of the magic is the fact that they're gonna try and get you to come back towards them the whole point of it is to get you to get up off your feet off your ass and contact them and reach out to them because when they start seeing you virgos and they're not and they're not getting a response they're not getting a phone call from you that's when they're gonna get all fucked up why isn't virgo calling why isn't virgo calling why isn't capricorn calling right? Because if the magic got you, you would have been like hazed and you would have fucking came running back towards them. But the thing is, that part is not working. So yes, you will feel the energy of their magic, but you're not going to fucking contact them at all. You're like, yo, I'm the hermit. The fuck are you really trying to do it? I do believe you will fuck this person up, Virgos, if they honestly do it again towards you guys. I'm not even playing. You guys will fuck them up. You will fuck them up because one is too many times. You did it once, you did it two times, three times, four times. This person doesn't fucking want nothing to do with you, Capricorn, and you're still doing it. <laughs> I believe you will fuck them up in the end. I'm not saying nothing, Virgos. I'm not saying, oh, go on and do, do, do it to her people. I'm reading the energy of the cards. I'm telling you what I'm seeing in the cards. So if you guys may not do nothing at all, and you just go go on with your life and you do your thing, some of you guys will handle it in your own way. If you know exactly who it is that's doing it or who doesn't know, you don't need to know. But, I mean, at the end of the day, you're a hermit. You're too wise. You'll fucking know right away what the hell's going on. Thanks, Virgos. Bye.